welcome to uh, Theme Park family. Me and my family go around theme parks, checking all the biggest coasters, dark rides, flat rides, and uh, shows. And today we are here at Chessington World of Adventure for the first time ever vlogging. Yeah. Excited? Uh, I'm not really excited. I know we haven't been here for like a year and a half, but I'm not a big fan of many of the rides here, in my opinion. I'm looking forward to prefer uh, to go on Dragon's Fury and also Vampire. Also, I want to try and see if we can see the new area, Rainforest, which I don't, I don't know if it's open already. I'm not 100% sure. Also, there's the zoo we're going to check out. Plus, there is so much more to check out in this park. Um, I can't wait to get myself back on Dragon's Fury. Do you reckon it's going to be better than Spinball Wizard? No, I don't think so. Spinball Wizard is like amazing. Oh yeah, make sure you do check out the vlog uh, when we went to Alton Towers a few days ago. Yeah. Brilliant day out that was. Now the procedure of this, when you first come into the park, first of all, I have to say the car parking is horrendous. I mean, yeah. that, I've just spent like £300 now on my suspension because you literally bounce up and down and everything. Um, it's absolutely insane. But when you first actually queuing up, there is actually little footprints all the way around the queue line and stuff, which is really funky, really cool. Um, but then there's like batches as well, a bit like what Thought Park did. And then obviously you get your temperature checked. Um, there's also uh, where you have to get your bag searched as well. The normal procedure, but overall, it's going to be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually generally excited about today. I've not been here for what? Good year and a half, two years. Two years at least, yeah. mate. So um, it's going to be good to get back onto these rides and uh, take you guys with us. So this is it. This is Theme Park Family taking you guys into Chesterton World of Adventure. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Just to let you know, guys, that this area where Cobra is, there's also, like a, I think it's like a jungle uh, indoor soft play area. This area doesn't open until 1 o'clock. There we go, guys. Just give your heads up. I don't know if that's going to be till the COVID, but obviously they have closed the area down. Not fully, but only till one o'clock. Just come off Dragon's Fury. Any good? It's all right, but it isn't as good as Spinball Wizard. Eh. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. Spinball Wizard, we had some right spins on that, which is really unusual because I generally thought Dragon's Fury was better than Spinball Wizard. Yeah, I thought the same to be honest. But obviously, just doing it now, no, I prefer Spinball Wizard. Although it's got more theming in Dragon's Fury, I still think you get more spins. I just think it's more intense yeah in my eyes personally okay right now we are now heading towards the new uh, revived tomb blaster it did get a makeover uh, at the beginning of the year so i'm happy to go into there uh, check out the new smell pods the soundtrack and also the visuals as well so i'm excited so here we go just to also point out as well that there is these markers here you've got obviously the right hand side going down that way and then obviously you've got arrows going on this side as you can see there this way and that way. Seems to me as well when we're actually walking in the queue line of uh, Tomb Blaster, they've opened up the whole. I've never been around this area before. It's quite nice. Okay, we've just come back from the uh, the new makeover of Tomb Blaster. We've been in it quite a few times. Yeah. However, though, that was the best one. It's brilliant. Yeah. It really is. I mean, the gun system's still a bit icky, yeah. but you know, with the sound, only because he won, because <laughs> of the mic wasn't working, uh, because of the sound and the smell pods, visuals as well on it all, brilliant. The animatronics could do with updating, but you know, it's an old ride. Uh, but overall, I genuinely enjoyed that. Yeah, I really enjoyed that too. But what I'm really confused about is why is that working and not dual? I don't know if it's that, like you were saying, it's uh, dual is on a continuous cycle, it's separate cars, as that there is on a... Continuous. It's, it's, it's like on a conveyor belt, so I, I don't know to be fair, yeah. I, don't, I don't know why it doesn't work. But overall... I enjoyed it. 
It's a good ride that was. Also, we just found out as well that Tiger Rocks isn't open. Um, like a lot of the water rides, unfortunately, uh, around the parks are not on because obviously you need to wear a mask and getting it wet. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Um, also, as well, the spacing in there is really hard to see. I don't know if you noticed yeah. it. You couldn't see the paws on the floor. They're saying to you, stand where you need to be, but you can't physically see them because it's so dark. So I don't know if you need some like fluorescent paint or something there so you can actually see it. But overall, good ride. Yeah. I so in the meantime, now we are heading towards a vampire. Oh God. He doesn't like it, but hey ho. Are you ready? No. <laughs> vampire, here we come. I'm Just come out of the zoo. Um, there's not much footage. Um, to be fair, we didn't want to do the zoo. No, we didn't. But because we went to the safari area bit, um, it's always a one-way system. So unfortunately, you have to go with it. Um, don't get me wrong. It was it was nice to see some of the animals and stuff. Yeah. Um, and everyone, to be fair, in there is spaced out really nicely. Uh, so they do have that spot on. However, though, like I say, if you don't want to do the zoo first, or you don't want to do the safari don't go down that area because it is a one-way system it takes about 20 minutes to get out of it and you come out just outside the sea life center but you know it is what it is but so in the meantime we are going to go back to our original plan and try and uh, get on vampire oh, God, oh, God. oh yeah Okay, we've just come off a vampire. <laughs> he still doesn't like it. I think it's a good ride to be fair. However though, the queuing was horrendous. It took, yeah. uh, it took 70 minutes. It did say 70 minutes and to be fair, you know, um, every half an hour as well, it's kind of, they kind of clean the trains every half an hour, which is... Understandable. Absolutely. Um, however though, the end bit is the, obviously the best bit into this. No. Which is say. No, it's pretty the much when you are when you are <laughs> swinging side by side, mate. That is the best bit, first in my eyes, anyway. As is ours, one worst ride to another. We are going to go on to a rattlesnake, mm. and then we are going to grab some food. Here we go, Yay. rattlesnake. Wonderful. Here we go.
just uh, doing a rattlesnake and scorpion express. What do you reckon the scorpion then? I actually don't mind it. It's Scorpion's a good ride. Yeah. Although there was bits of puddles, and I don't know what people were whinging about, that like yeah. they've got wet bums and stuff. Oh, shut up, just sit down, it's warm, who cares? Yeah. Um, what do you reckon then? <laughs> to a rattlesnake. You know what? It wasn't that bad. I, I thought it was worse in my head, but yeah, I, I didn't mind it. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it, I did, to be fair. Mm. It was good. Um, it's it a bit is. rough. Rough now and then, but you know, it's old, it's an old ride. That's, what, that's how it is. But in the meantime, we have actually just been uh, looking on the app and it did say that the is it, is Zufari? Zufari is a five minute queue. It's never five minutes. So that's where we are heading towards now uh, to give that a go because it looks to me like Vampire and Rattlesnake and what's the other one? Uh, Dragon Fury. Absolutely heaving. So while we get this opportunity, we are going to try and uh, go into Zufari now. Oh, See you guys on it. Okay, it's been an absolute. I don't know, a bit of a nightmare. We, the last time we spoke were that we were going to go to the safari. Yes. Um, that turned into a five minute queue to a 80 minute queue very quickly. So we were like, no, we're not queuing up for that. They're taking about four or five people per vehicle and they've only got three vehicles. Yeah, I ain't queuing up for that. And then we're going to do uh, Tiger Rocks. That obviously jumped from a five minute queue to a 30 minute queue. So we, we went, do you know what? Let's just grab something to eat. Yeah. And it's a good job we did actually because we found pizza pasta where you can actually eat inside. Yeah. Now, there's only three options. You can either have margarita, pepperoni or veggie. Um, you do get pastas, uh, little tubs. I'll put them on the uh, screen now. Um, and also you get salad and you get drinks with it as well. It came up to about 17 pound it did. Uh, but if you are eating inside, you do need to uh, give your name and your telephone number so it can go to the COVID government files or something like that because we've eaten indoors. I don't know. I don't know. Overall, pizza? Not nice. It, I found it soggy as well at the bottom. I just didn't like it. No, um, I thought it was alright to be fair. It wasn't too bad. I got obviously eight slices, you got four. Yeah. And it's just pretty much, it comes in the pan like you would do when you go and do the buffet for it, or where you scoop it up and then you put it onto your plate. Uh, there's not much uh, sauce there either. Overall, it's alright. I personally would like to go and pick my own food out but obviously we can't do that but I just wanted to go in there just to see what it's like so I can tell you guys um, and that's how pretty much how it works here at pasta a pizza pasta place now we're gonna head towards Tiger Rocks hopefully the queue has gone down um, it's roughly about three o'clock now so hopefully it's uh, quieted down but saying quieted down it's got, I feel like it's got really busy yeah I feel like more families decided to come in don't know why but and social distance at the moment doesn't exist. I'm telling you now, it doesn't exist in this place. But anyway, yeah, like I said, we're gonna go to uh, Tiger Rocks and then uh, we'll catch you guys soon.
We've just come off at Tiger Rocks. Good ride. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Uh, great. When you're in the actual tunnel bit, you've got all the smoke effects in there, the lighting. Oh, it was great. I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot as well. So in the meantime, we've done pretty much everything that we wanted to do. The crowds are just massive. Too hectic. Too hectic. It's hectic. It's crazy. It's so busy. You wouldn't think we're in a pandemic. But in the meantime, we are going to try and look for a gift shop. See if we can get some merch, have a look around what t-shirts there is. Because I've never actually got any merch from Chesterton, so hopefully I can grab some. What are your thoughts about Tiger Rock? Oh, I loved it. It might be my highlight of the day, to be honest. You enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah, you don't get completely, it's not tidal wave, but you know, you get a bit of drizzle or whatnot. Um, so yeah, like I said, guys, we're going to go to a merch stop, and then after that, we're going to uh, wrap up for our day. Okay, we're in the uh, gift shop. Cheers, mate. Okay, let's have a look. Obviously, you've got to do the uh, one-way system. Uh, you can't just go over to the other side, but uh, let's have a look, shall we? What there is. We've got little lanyards here. Here we go. We've got some mugs here. We've got some pin badges. We've got mugs here. I need something with like a... I don't know. I'm not happy with any of these mugs, you know. Okay, obviously, you've got your teddy bears being a kind of a zoo. To be fair, it is more of a... Kids. Yes. Oh, there they've got a Chessington World of Adventure mug. I might have to purchase. I think the basket makes you buy. That's that's, that's my uh, conclusion. You feel like you need to put something in it. Uh, or... It's a Lego movie too. I don't know, mate, but there you go. We've got some Lego cracking off over here. Fridge magnets, key rings. T shirts going on there. We've got the land of the tiger. Oh, right. There we go. Let's have a look. That's quite nice actually. I oh, see I'll go for the vampire, but it's got kind of glitter all over it. That's not gonna happen. And there we go. Not really much, but we do have a purchase. Lewis, what have we got? Let's have a look at the mugs. Okay, we've got uh, Dragon's Fury, obviously Chesterton, Vampire, and uh, Tiger Rocks. So, see you later on. Okay, that is it here from Chesterton World of Adventure Vlog 2020. Lewis, has it been good? Is there some bad points, some good points? It's been all right. It's not as good as Autumn Towers or Thought Park. But it's I more did family enjoy based. Though, yeah, I, I did enjoy honest. it today. Yeah, just a, a quick reminder that people like who actually come here don't, um, it's not the staff, it's actually the general public as well. Yeah. Um, where there's little markers and stuff, no one seems to be kind of going by them, are they? No, not really. They're the, the, the kind of pretty much batching like it's like nothing's wrong with the world at the moment and um, that's the only downfall it's not the staff and it's not the park's fault they can only do certain things what they can do like put markers down it's the general public that needs to follow these rules and unfortunately they're not I, I, in my eyes i feel like we've got oh it's more busier than Owen towers and thought park put together yeah the past couple of vlogs it's what we've done because it's like huge families and they kind of bought like one ticket so even though it, I think it does it have a cap? Yeah, with the cap itself, I don't know. Yeah, there is a cap here, but it just doesn't feel. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's a cap. It doesn't feel like there's a cap at all. Oh. So, go then, Lewis. What's been your highlight then? Uh, my highlight has to be between Tiger Rock and uh, Tomb Blasters. Tomb Blaster, 100%. I loved it. Yeah. Unfortunately, Dragon's Fury, not that great. I thought it was better than Spinball Wizard. Clearly, it isn't. But overall, you know, at the end I, of the day, I did enjoy it a lot. Uh, the food is quite expensive as well. Um, I'd say overall it has been a good day but if I was to pick out of the three I would definitely would say it's one of the less and it's not because of the park itself or the stuff it's just just the fact that it's been so busy yeah. all the queues itself have been about 90 minutes so, for example the uh, the safari is 80 minutes vampire 70 minutes it is so busy it's incredible yeah. um, and in my eyes I don't think it doesn't feel like there's a cap that's no, for sure it doesn't even feel like we're in a pandemic it just feels like we're a normal theme park at a normal day Yes, it does. One hundred percent, it does. It does feel like it's a normal August or, no, or normal July. Yeah. Nothing's wrong with the world, and yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Don't forget to check out our other vlogs on Alton Towers and Thorpe Park. Um, they were really good. I really enjoyed them. Yeah. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy today, but make sure you do check them out. So you can follow us on our social medias on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon every time we upload a new video. You, you will, will be, be notified. notified. That's right, guys. So I'm Danny, and I'm Lewis, and thank you for watching. Theme Park family. Take care. Bye bye.